Congratulations, graduates. With your graduation, you join one of the country's largest alumni networks of over 630,000 strong. I'm sorry that you could not attend one of the in-person ceremonies, but all of you have personified the meaning of resilience over the last year. The effort and commitment demonstrated by the class of 2021 to earn a Michigan degree will long be remembered. To be sure, you have all a bright future ahead of you. The class of 2021 is going to contribute great things to our community. The world has certainly changed from how it was when you all started college, but armed with the skills and knowledge you have gained from your studies, you will shape what our new normal looks like. You're going to be essential to our recovery, not just economically, but socially as well. Today, we celebrate not only to recognize your accomplishments, but to mark your commencement as practitioners and soon to be leaders of our society. U of M Dearborn is now your alma mater. You are always welcome here. This is your home. By the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the regents of the University of Michigan, and by them delegated to me, it is my honor to confer upon you the degree that has been recommended by your faculties with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. You have made us proud. I wish you good fortune and look forward to hearing about your exciting successes and adventures. Forever, go blue, go Dearborn, and now go celebrate. On behalf of my colleagues on the Board of Regents, I'm delighted to join you in this time of celebration. In the past year, we have seen college student experiences transform across the globe. While it has been a challenging time for everyone, it has been especially difficult for those of you nearing the end of your college journey. Although that journey may not have ended the way you expected it to, I'm excited that you now have the opportunity to reflect and cherish these moments in person and safely. Today, we come together to reflect on some of the most memorable years of your lives and celebrate all of your accomplishments. Remember to thank those who have supported you along the way as they too rejoice in your success. As Regents, we've watched you achieve great feats during your time here, and I'm confident that your great U of M Dearborn education has prepared you to make a positive difference on the world. As you leave here today, I encourage you to continually search for the potential in every opportunity and work to overcome roadblocks that may arise along the way. Always remember, we are extremely proud of you and wish you the very best. Congratulations, U of M Dearborn graduates. Good luck and go blue. Greetings, University of Michigan Regents, Chancellor Grasso, Provost Alcock, friends, families, guests. And most importantly, fellow graduates, the class of 2021, those of you streaming in and those of you sitting in today, welcome, and most importantly, congratulations. Now, before I begin any poem I am ever about to read, I always take a moment to thank the person in my life who taught me the importance of sharing my words. My grandfather passed his love of spoken word to me by sharing the words he believed could connect us, even when we were so far apart, entire continents away. These days, we all find ourselves as apart as we have ever felt, but I hope that in sharing my words in the way he taught me to, we are able to connect and celebrate our achievements as the unified continent that makes up this university. Before I begin my recitation, I would like to share a necessary thank you to everyone who has made these last four years leading up to today possible. To all the people who make up this institution, faculty, staff, administration, to the students who walk this campus every semester, from those we met in that very first lecture to those attending or streaming in today. To our families, friends, strangers we met in the hallways, and those we've been Zooming with miles away. And most importantly, today. We must thank ourselves, our bodies and minds for making possible the completion of these achievements we are celebrating. I only hope that with these words I'm about to say, you remember 
that even in the darkest times we face, it is the words we have learned how to share here that have the power to heal the world. In high school, I was taught to read those who wrote memorable words, that to recite them would be the ladder to propel me to the top of the world, that my future wasn't about what I loved on the inside, but rather how many degrees I had hanging on the outside. Fast forward to when I stepped into my first college class here and the professor asked, who's here for an education and who's here for a degree? You see, that professor's decree was that you don't belong in this room if your answer is the ladder, because the only ladder that's gonna propel you to the top of your world is the one we care enough to build on our own, whose material is sewn from the matter that comes from deep inside. And I think it was then that I realized these next four years here are my chance to write my own words, that only reciting what I have to say can propel me to the top of my world. Now, four years later, we stand here in front of each other, dripping maize and blue, dressed in caps and gowns, symbolic crowns, proof of the different stories each of us has had to write, all the obstacles, big and small, we've had to fight to finally reach this light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, there are those of us whose obstacle was learning English along the way. Those of you who studied at 3 a.m. because you are a parent by day. Those of us who fought in literal wars. Those of us who felt like studying was a literal war between the goals in your heart and the little voices in your head holding you back. There are those of us who made it here whose fight wasn't because of any lack on your part, but because this society looked at you and made it its goal to hold you back. There are those of us here who weren't born in this land. Those of us whose parents came here with only a few dollars in their hand. Shout out to my mom and dad who, even when the times got bad, still kept pushing me to write my own words. And there are those of us, many of us, most of us here today, scared and unsure about tomorrow, but to borrow a phrase, there is nothing certain but the uncertain. And I think I speak for us all when I say I am certain that with these last four or however many years it took you to get here, making up a rung on each of our individual ladders, we walk away here today with the ability to recite our own words to change the world hereafter. Congratulations, class of 2021. We may be finished writing here, but our words aren't done. Thank you for inviting me to congratulate you on this very wonderful occasion. I've always been interested in why this was called graduation and not, for example, finishing. Then I remembered for some of us, not me, but for some of us, it was called finishing school. And I think rather rich girls went to it and they were finished and found wonderful husbands or whatever you find at finishing school and lived happily ever after, except that we know that that's not exactly true. You graduate, you took a step forward, you took a step up. I shouldn't laugh at finishing school, I'm sure someone enjoyed it. You took a step forward, you took a step up. And I'm sure if you're like me, there are people in heaven sitting in their rocking chair saying, look at my baby, my baby graduated. I'm a black American woman. And when we were growing up, I'm 77 years old, it was a, a, a pleasure and, and actually very unusual to be able to graduate from kindergarten. So kindergarten was a very, very, very big deal. And we wore our white dresses and we wore our little lace shoes and socks. And our grandmothers came and everybody said, oh, look at my baby, she graduated from kindergarten. And as time went on, we graduated from eighth grade and everybody came and there was a party after when everybody was so proud. Look at my baby, graduated from eighth grade. And by the time, if you were lucky, and many of us were not, we graduated from high school. Many of us had to go to work to help our parents to take care of the family. Many of us had to take care of other situations that we ran into. But high school was very important. Now we have you and you're graduating from college. Some of you will go on and get 
degrees. We'll get PhD, MFs, A's, PhDs, or get whatever you went, whatever step forward you can take. But what's important, at least to me, is that we all have to remember there was a time when people like us were forbidden for going to college, were forbidden to read and write. It was against the law for us to do that. Being a citizen is an incredibly important thing. We should be proud, and I hope you are, of the taxes that you pay. I think it's important to remember that what you've done is a good thing. I think it's important for you to remember that if you are, and you are a citizen, you have not only rights, but responsibilities. So you not only pay taxes, but you sign up so that you can vote. When you decide to drive a car, you go and get a driver's license. And in my opinion, at that point, you should also have your, your voter registration. We have in the future, or for our future, quite a bit to think of how we want to conduct our lives. Speaking of folks sitting up in heaven, we are not. We're sitting here on earth doing the best that we can. We all do what we can to move people forward. It's a pleasure for me to congratulate you today on your step. 2021 was not so bad. There have been worse things. There have been times that ignorance has controlled this nation. There have been times that hatred has controlled the world. We're putting the world in your hands, that you have something to say about what we're going to do. And you can't be too busy or too tired. You are a part of the community we've been building. It's very important that you take your responsibility seriously, that you learn to love what you have to do, that you learn to appreciate yourself and your community, that you learn to know this is what I need not this, and that you learn to love the people who love you and to not love the people who don't love you. You can't love everybody, so you need to be sure you pick and choose. I think college is a good idea. I'm glad that you are graduating. I think life is a good idea. I would like to live 10 more years if I can, but I don't control my time. I only control what I do with my time. And I'm hoping that you control what you do with your time, that you use it and yourself wisely, that you learn to appreciate yourself and the people who love you wisely. I wish you the best. Congratulations to all of you. And thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of you today. I join in gentle sadness and silent tears, the pride of the class of 2021 in accepting their duty. I join the unheard steps across the stage and the shouts when the diploma is put in your hand. I join the bravery of the class of 2021 in understanding some gave their health, some gave their lives, some gave their possibility of kindness because of the selfishness of others. I join understanding of forgiveness. I join the writing students in writing about their first kiss. I join them in the heartbreak when he is gone. I join the laughter after a winning football game and the pouts when, as it were, Casey at the bat finally almost even the score. I join our parents who struggled to make a day possible that is not possible, that will always be possible because hope is the possibility. I join all of us on the struggle to be better, to be a better nation through the betterment of ourselves. I join those who hope our campuses will find the room for a monument to celebrate those youngsters most of our monuments honor those who cannot know that we praise them. 
I join those who praise the living. The class of 2021 has been gracious and brave. I join all of us all over the globe who applaud their sacrifice. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I join the sun shining for your warmth and the rain quenching your thirst. Spring will come and winter will be embraced. I join all people of goodwill to wish you congratulations. Thank you for letting me join you. Education is a meaningful, a meaningful situation. I join everyone in wishing you the very best. Thank you.